Hey, welcome back to my channel, Duct Tape Mechanic, and to another episode in my series, Free on Facebook, a series of videos in which I find things for free, and I show you how to repair them, repurpose them, or recycle them in another way. In this video, I got this Whirlpool Cabrillo washer that's throwing a UL code, and I'm going to show you the top three reasons why your washer could be throwing a UL code and how to fix it. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more DIY and tinkering videos. Here we go. Here's the Whirlpool Cabrillo. This is a Platinum Series washer. Um, it's probably not that old, but it's already on the street and disposed of, which is a little bit unfortunate. And this one, particular reason they got rid of this one is because it's throwing a UL code. And that basically just stands for unbalanced load. And there's three main reasons why it might throw this code. The number one and most obvious reason is that the code, cloth, clothing aren't distributed um, appropriately in the drum, meaning that they're unbalanced and the washing machine has stopped itself from spinning because otherwise the drum will hit the sides of the wall of the cabinet. So the solution to that is either redistribute the clothes or add more clothes in to counterbalance the clothes that's already in there. Obviously you don't want to overload these things. But yeah, so if yours is throwing a UL code, first thing to look at is the, distribu the distribution of the clothes inside the drum. So that's a fairly easy and obvious fix and most people probably already tried that before coming to this video. Alright, let's go to reason number two. And that's a crack in the rotor of the machine. And I'll show you what that looks like. And then the third and probably the most likely reason outside of the clothes being unevenly distributed in the drum is the failure of the suspension rods and I will also cover that in this video. So let's get to it. Alright so like I mentioned the second reason for a UL code on this Whirlpool Cabrillo washer is a crack in the stator of the motor of this washer and in order to get access to that you're gonna have to tip the machine on its back. All right. So in order to inspect the stator, we'll have to remove the rotor. In order to do that, it's just held in by this bolt here. You'll need an Allen key. All right, so typically if there's a crack in the stator, it'll be anywhere on this white portion here. And uh, it could be a hairline crack or anything like that, but uh, this particular one looks okay. But uh, if your stator is cracked, that could be, well, that will be a reason why you, your machine's thrown the UL code. And all you need to do is undo, to replace it, all you need to do is undo these four bolts and just take off the motor connector right here. And it should come right off. Um, this part is a little bit expensive, but it does beat buying a new machine particularly if you like this one. So that is the second reason, and that's if there's a crack in the stator of the washing machine. In this, in this particular case, the stator is okay, so I'm gonna move on to the third, and probably the most common reason, which is the suspension rods. All right, to get access to the suspension rods, you will have to come to the back of the washer and undo these quarter inch screws on the top of the green bracket, right there. like so. Alright, so after you've undone the screws, you want to take the top part, pull it towards you, and then push it up. There we go. And just pull it off the hooks, and you should be able to lean it back against the wall. There we go. So, out towards you, and straight up it'll come off these little hooks right here. Here are the suspension rods on the corner, all four corners of the tub, and these eventually wear out, causing the tub to go crazy. And uh, some of these newer type of machines, and even on the Samsungs, they'll throw a code and stop immediately on the older style machines. Um, there is no code 
um, and uh, it'll just bang around real crazy and that's how you know your suspension rods are out so I'll show you how to take this off and install a replacement rod now I like to do these one rod at a time instead of there's some videos out there that do all four at once I find that to be a little bit difficult as the entire tub will drop down then it's a uh, um, more difficult to install the new ones but to each their own I like the one out one in method all right so to replace this first we'll have to take out the old one and in order to do that you want to stick your hand in there and pull up so you pull up on this and just, just unhook it from the bearing and it should just drop right down all right so with that drop down I'll take I'll show you what that looks like so you know what I'm talking about so take this my camera off the mount here and so that's where it goes into the suspension rod so hopefully that's visible there and so after that all we got to do is stick your hand down there and take it out of this slot right here so it's got up undo it from right here all right so then we just take it off from that slot right there it should come right off so that blue piece goes on the bottom of the tub and uh, you just kind of have to push it out before you can slide it out of the slot that's why it took me a little while right there and uh, that's how you remove it then you also want to take this piece off and uh, you just kind of stick your hand down there and just push on the tabs and it should come right off there we go and we'll install the replacement piece next all right, so the first thing to do is put this part back in and just push down on it and it should just click in like so. And then after that, you get your new suspension or your replacement suspension rods. You want this piece to be on the bottom and we're just going to just kind of slide this in this way and this will be the, the slit right here and it'll slide right there. And as we hook it in, it'll just hook in like so. So hopefully I can demonstrate that um, with better camera angle as well. We do that next. All right, so we're gonna put our replacement rod in now, and uh, we're gonna first thing we're gonna do is drop it in like so. That blue piece will be on the bottom. Try now. All right. So then we'll slide it through that slit. Like so, it's kind of hard to do it with the camera on the way, but we'll try. Slide it. There we go. And just pull up until that blue piece comes all the way through. And there should be a little bit of a click right there. Perfect. So that's that blue tab clicking into place. And then after that, the hook is right here. And uh, I'll change the camera view so I'll show you, it shows you how we're going to attach it to the bearing. Alright, so with the blue piece um, attached to the bottom of the tub, we're going to bring the hook, which is right here, through this piece right here. Alright, once we've brought it through, we're going to get this bearing, put it through like so. And then click it, turn it so it clicks in this place right here and just drop it right in. Perfect. That's how you replace the rod, suspension rods on your washer. Same procedure applies for all four suspension rods. So you pull the rod, put the new one in, and do the same thing for all of them. You want to do all the rods at the same time and not just the one that looks mangled or the one you suspect that's bad. And I also recommend doing the bearings and the piece underneath as well. 
So with this one, it is important that that blue piece of the suspension rod is clicked into place though. That's the only thing. And uh, yeah, so after that, after you've done that, all you gotta do is put the lid back down and screw it back in and that should resolve the issue. All right, so that's how you fix a UL code on a Whirlpool Cabrillo washer. And just to recap real quick, the first reason I gave was that it's an unbalanced load caused by the load in the washer being unbalanced. So the best thing to do is redistribute that load or provide a counter load. Obviously, you don't want to overload the machine, but that's the first and main thing you should check. The second thing is that there's a crack in the stator of the motor of this machine. and if that's the case, you'll have to replace the stator. The third, and probably the most likely reason behind the unevenly distributed load is that the suspension rods are worn down. So if that's the case, those will need to be replaced as well. So hopefully this video helped you repair your Whirlpool Cabrillo washer, and if it did, make sure you hit the thumbs up sign.